Well, good morning, everybody. I'm popping up at the beginning of this service uh, just to say we're trialing something a little bit different this week. Uh, instead of one video uh, where we've got all the talking and then a playlist of worship songs afterwards, uh, we're going to split it up a bit. We're going to, uh, you know, mix it up uh, whereby we've got a playlist where the service uh, talking bits are interspersed with songs and uh, reflections. Uh, as they would normally be uh, if we meet together in the church. So um, it's a bit of an experiment. Uh, we'll see how it goes this week. Please give us your feedback, whether you think this is a good way of doing it. Um, I apologise in advance for any advertising you might see on YouTube. That's nothing to do with us. Uh, we don't endorse any of the products uh, that are being advertised to you. That's just a side effect of us using Google uh, and YouTube as our platforms for hosting this. Uh, so try and discard any uh, advertising if it's not uh, appropriate. Uh, I apologise for that uh, and we apologise for that. But uh, yeah, so without further ado, over to Shona for the rest of the service. Well, good morning, everybody. I think it's our sixth online service and welcome to one and all. And uh, it's good to see you, if you know what I mean. And a warm welcome to you if you're a visitor. I would love you to come and join us when all this craziness is over and we're back in the church building. Um, I wish Nick happy birthday this morning. It's his second birthday of this month. Happy birthday, Nick. You're obviously like the Queen. Uh, Trevor will be reading later to us from Matthew chapter 5 and Chris will be bringing us God's word. Mike's kind of leading our prayers and we're going to hear from Cass and Pete too. And thanks also to Peter for sorting out the worship. Let's begin with a prayer. Lord, as we gather again as your church here in Burwell, we thank you for the amazing technology that enables us to meet like this, so we continue in fellowship with each other. Bless us, Lord, as we listen to Chris's message that you've given him. And Lord, we want to bless you too, even in these unusual times that we find ourselves. We want to give you glory and honour. Amen. And may I just remind you about the mission of the month, which is Home Mission. And please remember Home Mission in your prayers, especially our regional ministry team and the Baptist Union. Uh, they provided and are still providing a lot of support for churches during this particular time. The story is told of a little boy who was afraid of the dark. One night, his mother asked him to go on the back porch and get the mop but he didn't want to go out because he was afraid. She said, haven't I always told you that there's nothing to be afraid of in the darkness? He said, yes, Mum, but please don't let me go out and get the mop. She replied, son, don't you know that Jesus is always with you? Don't you know that you're never alone? Don't you know that you have nothing to be afraid of? He replied, yes, Mum. So she said, all right. Go out and get the mop. He opened the back door about two inches, stuck his hand out and whimpered, Jesus, would you please pass me the mop? When we attempt to deal with something that we've never dealt with before, it's normal to feel unsure and afraid like the boy in the story. It can be like that when we think about this COVID-19. At Chris's suggestion, we only watch the news once a day at six o'clock and it can be heartbreaking and scary and also encouraging. If you've received a text from me recently or a message or an email, you may have noticed I've signed off, God reigns. Each time I've written it, I feel even stronger that it's absolutely true. Some people would argue that God doesn't reign, never has reigned, and that if he did, he's completely lost the plot and lost control. But God asks us to be strong and courageous. He tells us that he will never leave us nor forsake us, even during a pandemic. He planned our lives and he knows the situations that we face. He knew there would be consequences of sin, but he's still in control. Fear not, he has not let go of us. We must stand firm in our faith and in our knowledge of our one true God. Be assured, be bold, God reigns. 
For your encouragement, I'd like just to listen to a song. It's by a Christian band called 10th Avenue North. And um, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> 